stepping on and he told me that uh, he he actually now is at the point because he used to mount like I do and he's at the point now where he can actually do a more graceful mount and the way he's been uh, the way he trained himself to do that was to have one foot on the bot where you have that your leg pinned against the bot with that foot and then you just do a single step um, single step at a time as the bot moves forward, stop and then another step and another step. And I guess what that teaches you to do is to be able to maintain your center of gravity over the, the bot uh, in a way that gives you plenty of time to put your foot up uh, without having to do it in a super fast fashion like I've been doing ever since I learned. So I'd like to practice that. I'm not sure how much I'm going to practice it now just because of my limited time, but that is definitely something that I, I should make myself do. You know, just got to do it. So we'll see how it goes. I just realized um, that after this week, daylight savings time, I believe, kicks in this weekend. So that's going to make riding after work pretty much a no-go for me, which kind of sucks. Didn't really think about that. And yeah, I know I could get a, you know, a headlamp or something riding at night, but I don't know. Riding around at night just doesn't excite me all that much for whatever reason so my riding time will be cut down unfortunately to mostly weekends but at least the weather should be nice so yeah let me get dressed up and give this a try all right i'll just try a couple of the smoother mounts That's kind of what I've noticed happens is my center of gravity is too far over. And I lose it. It just means my center of gravity is too far. Alright, I think I understand the concept. I'll practice it more when I have more time. So just before this ride, I did uh, another calibration on the pedals. I stuck the, um, the pedal supports on bricks, which pretty much ensures that it's level, and did the calibration. And I'm still trying to figure out if I like where they're at or not. Not quite sure yet. degree is um, occasional wobbles maybe because again it's I don't know it's just my lower body getting used to the, the added size or foot positions maybe not ideal yet I don't know I do get some wobbling now and then nothing terrible I think the level of the pedals isn't bad 
Oh, maybe just a very slight backwards tilt might be a little bit better. I can think of. Kind of like what Marty said. Another difference with the M Super is because it has a much bigger battery pack than the uh, 9 bot one E Plus. Is you don't have to charge all the time. I was in the habit of charging my E Plus after every ride, but this was showing 80% battery after riding last night. So I can probably go two or three rides in between normal rides again. Sun's already starting to go down, unfortunately. Bummer. Of course, the real solution is to become independently wealthy so I can do whatever I want all day. I haven't implemented that plan yet. habit of wearing um, knee pads again. The additional power and speed this thing has is kind of dumb not to, so if uh, you see me in future videos not wearing them, you can yell at me. Another thing I wanted to do, which I forgot because I was rushing, was uh, to put on my GPS that I use for running and biking so I can uh, get a better idea of um, what speed I'm actually going at, because right now I really have no idea. It just feels okay. things um, Marty suggested I do is try setting the tilt back on this very low just to get a feel for what the tilt back feels like. So I'm going to set it for 15 kilometers an hour. And um, I heard someone say that you didn't have to turn the wheel on and off for that to take effect, but just to um, just to be sure, um, I turned it on and off, as you just heard. And let's see if it actually works. I get 15 mile an hour tilt back. Practicing my stepping. better at the stepping. Alright, so let's... Okay, yeah, there it is. Alright, so that's... Uh, I'd say that's similar to the uh, 9 bot tilt back. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so... Um, I don't like tilt back. On the Gotway or the Nine Bot, so, but it does work. So now I know what it feels like. So let's set it back. I'm going to set it back to 39 kilometers an hour. I don't know if that's necessary. Somebody will tell me, I'm sure, when they see the video. Got my nice flashing light on. Okay. So now I should be back to a no, a no tilt back environment because I have no plans to be going 39 kilometers an hour anytime soon. Ah. Step on things should not be that hard. good. It looks even darker to me because I have my sunglasses on just for uh, bug protection. You can see the sun is setting. I do like the flashing light. You know, although it is too weak to really use as a headlight, it is good for visibility for uh, motorists or bikes or pedestrians. Surprise for Cindy is supposed to arrive on Friday. She has no idea. 
because they don't think she knows. And she'll either be surprised or mildly angry, but either way, it doesn't really matter. It'll work out. I'm back at the high school, another, uh, just another entrance. To be honest, I actually like the middle school parking lot better for skills practice. Gonna go a little faster just to get a feel for it. Yeah, it makes me a little nervous. I have to be honest, it makes me a little bit nervous. A lot of speed. But the funny thing is, is I bet I probably wasn't even going over 20 miles an hour there. If I was to make an educated guess. I think I find when I'm doing turns on the Super, I, I kind of find that I'm leaning back as well as in to do a tight turn. That seems to help me. I lean into it backwards a little bit. Oof. As you can see, I'm still far from perfect. I certainly can't do one foot turns. I've just been uh, doing some practicing trying to turn on this section of wide sidewalk, which is probably, I don't know, eight feet. And I can turn within that radius, but it's, it's hairy. Let me see if I can set the camera down so you can see this. Tight as I can go, I think. That's how you scrape the pedals. <clears throat> So yeah, that's that's where my turning skill is on the M Super right now. Not great. Certainly adequate for what I the riding I do, but skill-wise, not impressive at all. that looked fast or not. I'll let you know. When I um, first started learning, I very clearly remember when I had the 9 bot one over here, and I my goal was to make it around this outer loop here, the outside loop of the parking lot. And I remember being I mean, freaking out as I went around the corners because I was so shaky turning. And multiple times, you know, I was wobbling and, and uh, just barely saving it and like breaking out in a cold sweat as I came across these speed bumps I just went over. And uh, it's just crazy thinking about how it was then and how I felt then versus how I feel now. It's, uh, it's a big difference. But it's just a testament to the power of perseverance. You know, when it comes, if you're watching this video and you're uh, you're trying to learn how to ride an electric unicycle or frustrated, struggling. Um, trust me, I know how you feel. You know, I'm an old guy. I'm almost 49. And, uh, you know, old dogs don't like to learn new tricks, typically, but I'm glad I stuck with it. And if you're struggling to learn, I encourage you to stick with it as well. Because it may take a shorter amount of time, longer amount of time, but you, if you stick at it, you will eventually be successful. So keep going. 
I guess technically I could ride at night. You know, this parking lot does have um, street lights, and a lot of the major roads around here actually have street lights. So I could I could ride at night. Wouldn't be a big deal. The the pedal the pedal calibration it feels okay now. I don't. I'm thinking I'm going to leave it like this for now, and uh, I'll see if it bothers me in a longer ride, but uh, the more I've been on it, it feels pretty good. So, we'll leave it status quo. Alright, I guess I got a call tonight. I have to eat dinner. I think uh, Cindy's going to cut my hair. I've got some real life things to do. But the good news is the weekend is only two days away. So, and the weather's supposed to be good this weekend, cooler temperatures, so that could give me an opportunity to get a longer ride in, which would be nice. So anyways, hope you enjoyed my session. Please feel free to leave your comments below. And um, if you like the stuff I have on my channel, take a moment to like, and like the video and subscribe if you like. Until next time, talk me now.